Okay, so I've just gone back a couple of steps on this one and I just wanted to show this, the other thing that you can do when you've got your polygroup set up. So if you look at this, we've got polygroups set up um, on each of these edges. And because of that, we can set up a mask which is based on those polygroup borders. So if we go to the masking, in here we've got mask by feature and we can mask by groups or borders or creases but let's mask by groups let's mask by feature and it's hard to see but there's like a little line where the two groups meet so because of that we can grow the mask a couple of times and then sharpen it grow it sharpen grow it open I'm going to finally blur it and that's just to make it a little bit bigger and kind of controlled but now we've got that I can hit control and left click outside of that out of the mesh and that basically creates a mask where I'm only selecting the edges so this is so you can be start to be selective about where you put your chamfer and fill it I'm going to just do this whole thing but you could mask out areas you don't want and it's just a really quick way of getting a consistent area for a fillet so we just do the same thing as we did before we go to the uh, deformation tab and I hit it with a polish and it just polishes those areas and it completely ignores the others if I delete the mask there we go you can see with that one we're getting a kind of a harder more crisp transition because it's completely flat before it goes into that curve so again if you can go to the extra minute or less it takes to create to do go through this step and create this this little uv map that goes on top um it can actually do quite a lot for you